Clyde Scott helps people who are really rich and really freaked out. Yeah, this is going to be your bookshelf. Put your books and stuff on, but it's magnetized. You pull on it, open it up. Oh my God! He makes the most expensive, most popular underground bunkers in America. And his clientele has changed from people afraid Obama would take their property to those afraid Trump will start a nuclear war. It's a strange success that keeps getting stranger. And what are you getting for $10.4 million? Uh, you get an underground swimming pool. You get... Wait, 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 wait. I was, uh, I was raised as a prepper. Um, traveled the world, my family, you know, nuclear war was always coming. 38-year-old Clyde Scott used to build storm shelters outside Dallas at his Rising S Company. But a decade ago, he discovered an underground movement of people who wanted something more. I had a lady stop and ask me one day, she said, can you build me a storm shelter, but make it really big? I'm like, what do you mean really big? She's like, uh, I want it 40 feet in length. That wasn't a shelter, that was a bunker. Scott changed strategy, using $3 million from his storm shelter business to expand and start building all steel, fully functional, off the grid, blast proof bunkers which can accommodate over 40 people. Revenues grew from $1 million in 2010 to $9 million last year. There's been articles ran about me and Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. I mean, Do you deny those articles? I deny all articles. You deny them? Well, I would just say that I'm not allowed to speak about them. <laughs> I've done a shelter for a dentist. The entire theme for his uh, bunker was to literally go hide from his wife and get drunk in the bunker because he liked to drink. The average bunker is 500 square feet and costs 125 grand. But this $100,000 bunker is heading to a client in New York. Others cost millions, and business has jumped over 500% since Trump's election. I'm working on one right now for California example, that you pull into a metal building, you hit a button, and the elevator lets your car down, and you drive into your shelter. Well, I mean, I put in more tunnels and underground bunkers than El Chapo's ever put in. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.